Welcome to my channel. This is Tamara and today I am doing three fabulous DIYs for you. I just did this wedding collab and I'm doing, well it was a summer wedding collab. So I decided to just show you guys how I created these three awesome pieces that you just saw. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this Dollar Tree, um, this wheel wreath form from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take my wire cutters and cut off most of the wire and then when I get down to the last few maybe mm, the last four or five I'm going to start cutting them maybe about three inches and leaving about three inches still connected so I'm going to take everything off because I am going to be creating a hoop so I'm taking everything off to make this hoop ring with flowers. And you can use any flowers or colors of your choice. I'm going to be using um, peach and some type of green because those are my colors for the summer. So as you can see guys, I'm having some difficulty with the wire trying to take this thing off, but it is a little tedious, but I didn't show you all of that. so. I'm just going to show you how I styled it. So I have these stems, I don't even know what you call them, I believe those are eucalyptus and I'm just going to flank them on either side of the bottom of the wreath. So because they have a wire, I'm just going to use the wire to turn them and attach them. And I tried to use as little glue as possible and by the way, I got these wire wreath ideas from the fabulous Michelle over at Pretty Inspired Decor. I will try to link that video if I can find it. I was doing a marathon of her videos a couple of months back and this one just really stuck with me. But these things are everywhere really. But I like her technique but I just kind of you know just went and did my own thing. The next step is pretty simple. You're just going to, again, take whatever colors you want, whatever flowers you want, and just kind of hot glue them. And the reason why I left about three inches is so I could have an additional support base to hot glue some of the flowers to. And after that, I just went in with a few little small picks, little pieces of greenery and stuck it in there. And that is really it, guys. There's really no way to mess up this DIY. You can use these to hang on your front door or in as a room decor or wherever you want, whatever you want to do. I actually was using them as a backdrop for my wedding um, collab. And if you haven't seen that collaboration, please go and watch that video. I will be sure to link it above. It was absolutely gorgeous. And also, just to let you know, this is a part of a close collaboration from the Sophisticated Ladies Club. And we are doing just any summer decor or anything that we're doing for the summer. And so I decided to just use or show you guys how to create these awesome DIYs. So for this next DIY, I'm going to be using these little um, shower rings, shower curtain rings from the Dollar Tree. And I created these DIYs before and I'm going to be making a faux diamond engagement ring. Okay y'all, late night crafting again. So I am making some Napkin rings or decor. I'm not sure how I'm going to use them yet um, for this wedding DIY, this wedding um, challenge that I have coming up. Anywho, so I'm going to take one of these, well, several of these, and 
these large gems that I have that I absolutely love using. These are from Amazon. And I'm going to take my little wire cutters. And normally I would go through the hassle of using my hot knife and melting this off. But then I realized, chick, you don't need to go through all of that. Just like that. Okay. So this is quick and easy. So you get your hot glue. I just decided to wrap this piece of bling chain around it just to give it a different effect because I wanted to make the ring for the groom so it could look different from the ring from the bride. So I ended up using it in several places. I had it hanging from a sign that I created for the table number. I had it as my centerpiece on the cake. I used it also just as a little decor piece on my place setting on top of the menu. So let me know what you guys think. So for this next DIY, I wanted to make one of those um, just welcome signs for a wedding that you could have. And I chose to put it on my um, cake table so i'm basically going to take one of these frames from the dollar tree and these are old frames they are about they are like 12 by 14 and i basically was able to use a chalkboard i have a chalkboard paper and i'm just cutting it to size and then i was trying to put it on the outside and then i realized i needed the chalkboard Portion to be able to write on so I could have done one of two things written on the chalkboard paper first and then install it but I decided to leave it out and then write on it so I'm just going to decorate the side of it with some floral picks and some um, some floral bulbs and again you can choose any color you want, any design you want. I just kind of had things draping off on one side only. And that's it. This DIY is done, guys. So the members of the Sophisticated Ladies Club are myself, Tamara of Love My Babies Forever, Miss Tammy of Tammy Thompson TVMG, Miss Robin of Table Talk with Robin, Miss Penny of At Penny's Place and Kel of If It Ain't Cheap, I'm Not Buying It, who's the founder of the group. And you need to please check out those ladies. Check out their um, links that will be in the description box. And oh, I forgot to say that I displayed this particular DIY on an easel that I also created. And I just place the little teardrop diamond hanging down from the center of it so i hope that you guys took some inspiration i hope you enjoyed these videos i hope you enjoyed the diys and as always happy summer and i hope that you are safe happy healthy and blessed and i will see you in the next video